All right, this one's for Anonymous70909. He suggested flint and steel to make sparks. So I have the Zippo lighter, and I'm going to try striking it near the bubbles and see if that does it. All right, yes it did. Okay, so that means I need a non-stop flint and steel kind of a gizmo, like a lighter that was run by a motor kind of a thing to give that constant uh, Uh, sparks and I'm not sure where I would get such a thing I know that they have uh, they have toys that um, I used to have one when I was a kid where you punch it's got like a wheel that's held by a rod I guess you'd say or whatever and you pump the handle that you push it in with your thumb it would make that wheel spin, and as the wheel spun, it would make sparks, like the lighter does. So, uh, if there is such a thing out there, I need to find it, because that would, that would work. The hot wire did not work. Uh, sparks from a sparkler does work. Sparks from a Zippo does work. Um... My son-in-law is going to come in a week or so, and he's going to bring a grinder. I don't really want to buy one just to test it. He has one. He's going to bring it. I'm going to grind some steel over it. I would think it would work just like the other two. The only problem is I really don't want to have a huge grinder, even if it's battery-powered, hanging above this tank just to light the bubbles, you know? It's just going to be very cumbersome. I was really hoping that hot wire would work, and I'm really disappointed it didn't. Um, so, if I could have like a small, something small like the Zippo lighter, but it would be motor driven, so it would be continual, be continually putting off sparks. Uh, that would be that would be ideal. I need to look for such a thing online. I'm not really sure how to describe it. Um, anyway, Anonymous 90, I mean 70907, uh, I did that for you. You were right, it worked. Um, and if you have an idea of where I could find such a thing, would you put in the comments, anybody else have an idea where I could find such a thing? And meanwhile, I'll also look, and maybe between the group of us we can locate such an animal that I can just like attach to the side of the bucket here and then we just continually be pushing off the sparks made with flint and uh, steel um, into the bubbles so that when the bubbles would contact the sparks it would explode